All right, so we're gonna finally cap off the fifth video in the Get Email Marketing Clients video series. I know I've been pretty MIA for the last month and a half, but we're gonna wrap that up today in this series. We're gonna talk about the three ways that you can scale to 100K a year plus in profits using email copywriting. So I'm gonna talk about three different methods, three different ways you can do that here in this video. So here's what we have covered on this series so far. We're in the last video, video number five. We've talked about the freelance copywriting model explained why it's such a great place to start. We talked about your dream client and how to get them, how to reach out to clients without feeling like a sleazeball, how to close deals on the phone like a boss. The entire, I, I outlined everything for you in your script, even if you have zero experience. And now we're gonna talk about the three ways that you can scale to 100K per year plus in profits using email copywriting. So this entire series is basically a course. It gives you everything you need to get started, get clients and start making money with this. So no excuses. So in this video, we're gonna cover specifically method number one, three methods, right? The first one is how to get more monthly recurring clients um, or how to get to 100K plus per year in profits by just getting more monthly recurring clients. We'll talk about how to partner with businesses and get a percentage of revenue. And then we'll also talk about how to go client lists and sell your own products, right? How to take what you have done and the experience you have working with clients and using it to sell and profit from your own products, your own expertise, okay? So let's talk about method number one, getting more monthly recurring clients. What is this method where we're getting more monthly recurring clients uh, until we hit our income goals, right? So let's say that your income goal is 10K per month, which is 120, 120K per year. And let's say you're offering daily emails as a service and you're making two and a half K per month per a client. You would need four clients, basic math, to cross the 10K per month mark and be at 120K per year, right? So it's just a matter of uh, adding up enough clients until you hit your income goal, depending on how much you're charging per client. Now, how to do this? Well, we're just gonna talk about different ways that you can get more clients, right? Number one is just outreach to more clients, reaching out to people who fit your ideal client profile and reaching out to them on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to drum up interest and get more clients that you can work for and write emails for. You can use your successful case studies from your existing clients to make your service more enticing. So as you work with more and more clients and you get better results, you can use those case studies for your outreach, for your content, in order to attract and get even higher quality, higher paying clients and more clients. You can ask for referrals. So if you have happy existing clients and they're pumped up with the work that you've been doing, ask them for referrals. Ask them if they know any other businesses who can benefit from your email copywriting service. Create content, right? This is so powerful. Creating content in an email list to get clients coming to you. If you're an email copywriter, you should definitely have an email list because you get to practice your craft every day and you get to prove it, right? People join your email list. They see you writing emails every day. They consume your emails. They enjoy your emails. Some of them become clients. Some of them buy your products. And that, that's creating content and having your email list and practicing your craft every single day. Join paid masterminds. So I do this, I join multiple masterminds and coaching programs and courses and memberships every year, not just to better my learning, but to open up my network and get access to other potential clients for me and my business, right? So I'm always looking even at these paid communities, is there anybody that I can help with my skill set? Is there anybody I can help write emails for, automations for? Is there anybody that I can help to create some info products and sell those info products, right? So I join these masterminds not to just improve my own learning and my own growth and improve my network, but to also look at areas where my potential clients are hanging out and form partnerships with them and potentially even take some of them on as clients. So um, those are some of the methods that you can use to get more monthly recurring clients. Now, this is great for people who just want to, they just want to write copy. They want to make six figures a year, or multiple six figures a year. They don't want to deal with everything that comes with running a full on business, right? They just want to get in, write the copy, get out and let the business owner deal with everything else, right? Uh, customer support, managing a team, all that good stuff. They just want to focus on writing. So if that's you, this method is probably your best bet. Just getting more monthly recurring clients. You could have a perfectly cushy life getting four to eight clients that are paying you on a monthly basis and writing their emails for them. Okay, so that, if that's you, this method's the best for you. Um, examples of this, if you go to emailcopywriter.com, boundlesslabs.com, I know these guys offer monthly recurring packages. Emailcopywriter.com is Chris Orzakowski, brilliant e-commerce email copywriter. 
Uh, BoundlessLabs.io is Chase Diamond. He's also in the e-commerce space. If you guys wanna see some ideas how to of how to structure your packages and how to offer email as a service on a monthly basis, uh, go to these two sites, check out what they got. So let's talk about method number two, partnering with businesses and taking a percentage of the revenue that you generate from the email campaigns that you set up. So what is this? You're partnering with businesses who have email lists, but they aren't monetizing it. And you go in, you offer to write some other email sequences or campaigns, and you take a percentage of the revenue on whatever they make from what you set up. Okay, so let's just say uh, someone doesn't have an abandoned card sequence set up, which is, I mean, it's, it's actually more common than you think. And let's just say they don't have that abandoned card sequence set up. You go and set that up for them. And maybe this is a company doing five, $10 million a year or so. You go in, you set that up for them, and they are starting to generate, you know, 30, 40, $50,000 a month extra from that sequence. And let's just say you agree to take 5% of the revenue on that sequence, right? Whatever 5% of whatever they're generating, that's what you make every single month on autopilot from setting up these sequences when you partner with businesses and you make an agreement to take a percentage of the revenue generated from what you created for them. How do you do this? Well, it starts with reaching out to the right people. So you're gonna use a tool like Built With. That's a paid tool. I think they're like 200 or $300 per month. And it gives you access. I don't wanna go into the tool too deep, but it gives you access to a list of all these companies and all these businesses that fit certain criteria. For example, people who use ClickFunnels, right? People who use Shopify. So if you are going niche specific and you wanna see high traffic sites that are using a specific platform, Built With will help you do that. If you don't wanna pay for a software like that, you can also hire a freelancer to build these lists for you. And I don't know which one's gonna be more expensive. It, it might actually be the freelancer, but you can tell them, hey, get me these types of companies in this industry with traffic numbers, this, type, this high of traffic numbers and this revenue range in these niches, right? And what you're gonna do from there, once you have those lists, you're gonna reach out to owners, ask if they need help managing and profiting from their list. Watch my outreach video if you need some help on that. Offer to write a sample email to their list to test it out. And then you offer to write their sequences if it does well for a percentage of the revenue generated from it, right? So this is an irresistible offer here because uh, it's pretty much no risk to them. You're gonna test it out. You're gonna see if what you do actually works. You're gonna prove it to them. And then when you actually work with them and get paid for it, you're taking a percentage off of what they're making, the new money that they're making, right? You're not taking a cut of their business. You're taking a percentage of whatever you set up for them and the extra revenue they're generating on top of that. So this is great for people who want recurring revenue from the work they do once. So uh, there are clients where I, I set up email automations for them and I get paid every month from those email automations that took me a day or so to set up, right? So I go, I contact these companies, I write their sequences for them, I agree to a certain percentage on the revenue generated, new money, rev, uh, new ge revenue generated from the sequences that I set up and I take a cut of that and they pay me every month for whatever comes in through those sequences. So examples, growthresponse.io, this is, it's hard to figure out who's actually offering this uh, because they don't really list it on their site. These are usually, you know, behind closed doors types of deals. So I know that we offer it because that's what we do. We set up email automations for companies, mainly in the info product space and the e-learning space. And we take a cut on whatever sequences that we set up. Um, so growthresponse.io, you can check out my site if you want an example. That is method number two. Method number three, go clientless. Go clientless. Don't have any clients, create your own products uh, and, and don't work directly one-on-one -on -one with clients. So what is this? You're using your email copy chops to build your own list and sell your own products, your own digital or physical products, whatever it is. So how to do it? You wanna decide who you wanna help, right? Your niche, your industry. You should have an idea of this. What problem you're gonna help them solve, okay? And then what products you're gonna to sell to help them solve that? Physical, digital products, programs, courses, whatever it is. And then you're gonna build an email list that fits that criteria and sell them solutions, either ones that you've created yourself or as an affiliate, okay? So you can start as, a, in, as an affiliate if you don't wanna sell your own products or create your own products to begin with. Uh, but going client list, you're basically building your own list and you're selling products to your list and to clients uh, with, not to clients, I, I guess it is clients, but you're selling products and services to your list without actually having to work with the person one-on-one. -on -one. So this is great for people who want to build their own company and their products instead of working directly one-on-one -on -one with clients and doing the work for them. 
Okay, so you're actually selling your products, they're going out, they're implementing it themselves, or maybe you have like some group coaching type of thing. Uh, you're basically creating your own products. You're not going into their business and doing the work for them. So examples of this, there is ad skills. There's Chase Diamond, I already mentioned him. He has boundlesslabs.io, but he also creates his own information products around email marketing. Ben Settle, one of my favorite, probably my favorite email copywriter personally, he creates info products. He used to write for clients, now he just creates information products. Ian Stanley, love his storytelling abilities. I've referred a lot of people his way because I love being on his list and I love the different products that he sells to his list. I've bought many of them. And of course my list, right? I sell a lot of info products as well that help people start and grow their business. Uh, so here's the cool thing. Okay, I've talked about this in a previous video, but here's the cool thing. You can combine all three of these methods to make big money with email. There's nothing saying that you can't, you can do only one method and not the other. You can combine all three of these if you want at some point, right? I don't recommend you doing that all at once in the beginning if you're just getting started. Uh, but if you are experienced, you've been writing emails, you've been getting results with it, there's nothing stopping you from making big money combining all of these methods. So for me personally, I get to choose what I wanna sell each day. I send out an email and I watch the sales roll in, right? I can, I can choose to sell my information products. I can, I can choose to offer my service to write email automations and um, send people a link to book a call with me, right? I can choose to sell uh, or done for you like daily email service, right? Or LinkedIn lead generation services. So I get to choose what I wanna sell each day. Some days I'll sell my info products. Some other days I'll sell consulting services. Other days I might sell affiliate offers, even though you know I don't really sell affiliate offers too much, but that's what your schedule can look like. When you have your email list and you have the skills of writing emails that sell, uh, you can choose to sell whatever you want on any day of the week. So that's the beauty of email. You get to sell whatever you want, whenever you want for free. Once you build a list, it costs you nothing to press the send button. It costs you nothing to write up the emails, press the send button and see the sales rolling in for your business. So recap of what we covered. We talked about method number one, getting more monthly recurring clients, how to make big money with email. Method number two, partnering with businesses and getting a percentage of the revenue on the new money that you generate for them. And method number three, going clientless and selling your own products and your own offerings or even affiliate offers, okay? Um, so that is gonna wrap up this series, this entire Get Email Marketing Clients series. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you got a ton of value out of this. I took you pretty much A through Z, uh, getting you clear on the model, the freelance copywriting model, how to get clients, how to close clients, how to serve them, and, and how to, if you wanna grow your business and, and go other ways other than just working directly with clients. I talked about going clientless as well in this video. So what to do next? Go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you directly to my free Facebook group around email marketing and growing and scaling your business with email. Uh, it's a free group to join. Join that group. That's where we're gonna be sharing more about email and email copywriting and sharing my content there specifically around email. And of course, make sure you like and subscribe to this video if you got value out of this. Comment below if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.